Welcome to Big Braids and Crypto. I'm your host, Mr. Big Braids, coming to you live from Reservation Somewhere. Taking a look at AVT, REQ, Mirror, Suku, and SNT to complete the night. Well, let's get it started. Taking a look at AVT. AVT coming at amazing price action at 250 to be possibly trying to make some moves to the upside. Got to get back over that 76 at 257. If we're making some bullish moves to the upside, we got to get back over that 618 at 287. Grab some support consolidation, make our way up to this 330. As far as getting some breakout action, we got to get back over that 398. Grab some good strong support and consolidation, start making some moves to the upside. So that would be the awesome, amazing bullish scenario. BTC being so undecided, but yet, you know, coming in just around 44,000, definitely excited to see uh, BTC up in that area and, you know, slowly getting up there 0.02% up. So, you know, definitely excited to see BTC at that price action and uh, where we're going, that just remains to be seen. So, uh, keep an eye on, uh, you know, a lot of the price action, we definitely got to keep an eye on that news. A lot of people wondering why we're not moving around so fast. Well, we do have a lot of stuff going on. We got this Ukraine-Russia scenario going on. We got people talking about COVID. We got, you know, we got tornadoes and floods like we were talking about in the last video so a lot of stuff going on in the market definitely got a lot of good you know accumulation phase going on right now i'm loving that price action uh so <laughs> accumulation has been great the longer the sale goes the more i accumulated some amazing price action so uh but you know that's just my plan and uh you always remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on the market only and you always gonna do what's right for you so uh keep an eye on that resistance there if we can get through that resistance at the 786 possibly start getting some bullish moves to the upside uh with BTC see some sideways action above the 786. Uh, if we do get denied there, it could possibly start seeing some consolidation down to some lower price actions. Then we gotta keep it in that spot. 218. If you lose that 218, definitely can see some lower price action. I'm definitely out here lurking, <laughs> but uh, you know, that just remains to be seen. So uh, keep an eye on that price action on EVT. We'll do a follow up video tomorrow and see where we're at. Moving on up to REQ. REQ coming up a little bit over a little bit under 7% up on the uh, on the uh, on the day. So uh, you know, could possibly be seeing some moves to the upside. Got a few coins out there that are actually trying to set up in some you know, a little bit upward scenario, but you know, could possibly just be setting up with the sideways action as well with BTC being undecided coming in at 44,000 you know just above 44,000 lingering around in that area could possibly start to make some moves to the upside uh definitely excited to see where we're going uh so <laughs> keep an eye on that but BTC really starts making some moves to the upside uh you know a lot of these coins will start trying to make some moves moves with it but then get some pullback once BTC just basically starts sucking out of the market and gets that dominance going we kind of higher so then we'll get some pullback until BTC starts to stabilize and then we start heading into that altcoin season scenario so but uh, you know there's a lot of stuff that's moving around in the market today once these coins get that fu money they just go so as you know as we've seen with a lot of projects that are out here some of them are just like unknowns everybody's like they haven't even heard about that stuff but you know they when they get to go and they get to go and so uh, definitely gonna keep your eyes and ears open at all times <laughs> so uh req coming in at 0. 0.2682 as far as getting some uh decent recovery moves to the upside we gotta get back over the 786 at 0. 0.4134 grab some support consolidation make our way up to the 618 at 0. 0.5817 as far as getting some bullish moves to the upside we definitely gotta get back over that 0. 0.8182 grab some support consolidation make our way up over this uh dollar 20 grab some good strong support consolidation start making our moves to the upside so that would be the extremely bullish uh <laughs> awesome some scenario there with BTC being so undecided could possibly just be setting up this sideways action until BTC starts making some extreme moves to the upside. If we do get some dippy action, we got to keep an eye on that support at 0.1990. If we lose that support, definitely out here lurking for some lower price action. So keep an eye on that price action, keep an eye on BTC, and keep an eye on the news. We'll do some follow up videos tomorrow and see where we're at. Taking on. Uh, up to mirror mirror protocol still hanging out at that same price action just above that 618 uh you know just kind of gearing around on there so if we do lose that support at a dollar 62 coming in at a dollar 66 just above that support there if we do lose that support definitely could start some consolidating down towards the 786 and we lose this dollar 40 we're definitely going to see some lower price action uh, if we do start seeing some you know some decent moves to the upside and uh, get some bullish moves to the upside we got to get back up over this uh, 212 grab some support and consolidation make our way up to this 243 grab some good strong support and solid consolidation start making that next leg up so once we start getting into this scenario here could possibly start seeing some moves to the upside and uh you know but if we do get some uh, dippy action from btc could possibly see some pullback down to some you know Six, and if we lose that support, definitely start seeing some lower price action. So keep an eye on that price action. With BTC being so undecided, could possibly see some side 
action above the 618 but if we do lose that 618 you know could possibly see some sideways action above the 786 too so, so those scenarios are at play as well uh so keep an eye on that price action keep it on the market we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at moving on to suku suku coming in at 0.2463 uh still trying to set up in that sideways scenario like we've been talking about in the last video like we were talking a lot of coins uh you know just waiting on btc to start making some moves to the upside so you know could possibly be setting up with the sideways scenario until btc starts making some extreme moves to the upside and then uh you know the market starts getting a lot better so you know basically in that accumulation phase like i've been saying in a few videos now we got a lot of stuff going on in the news that's affecting the market so keeping that price action at you know some awesome amazing sales price action definitely out here loving that <laughs> that accumulation uh but as far as making some the upside in suku we definitely get back over that 0.3227 grab some support and consolidation make our way up to this 786 at 0.4020 for some decent recovery and moves to the upside as far as getting some bullish action and uh the upside we can get back over that 618 at 0.4643 make our way up to this 0.5518 grab some support and consolidation and make our way up to this 0.6935 and grab some good strong support and consolidation so make you working on that breakout action to the upside so keeping on that situation uh <laughs> keeping on that scenario with btc being so undecided it could possibly just see some sideways action until btc starts making some extreme moves to the upside then we start getting some decent correction to the uh to the upside so keeping on that price action and we'll do some follow-up videos tomorrow and see where we're at so everybody in suku good luck moving up to snt snt coming in uh, 0.610, slowly making some moves to the upside, coming in up on that support at 0 0.0620. So if we do make it over that support and uh, get some consolidation above the 786, that would be some decent recovery and making some moves to the upside. If we do get rejected there, could possibly see some consolidation down to this 0 0.05, uh, 0.0586 and uh, setting up with the sideways scenario like we've been talking about with a lot of coins that have been just bleeding on BTC. So it could possibly be setting up with the sideways scenario until BTC starts making some moves to the upside and then we start getting that correction up to the upside but if we do get if we do break through that 786 uh, resistance at 0 0.0620 could possibly get some uh, consolidation and uh, some possible bullish moves to the upside so if we do get some bullish moves to the upside we definitely get over that 618.06468 grab some support and consolidation start making our way up to this 0.0684 and then as far as getting some extremely bullish action moves to the upside we gotta give it over this 0.0744 grab some support and consolidation start working on the next leg up so with btc being so undecided could possibly see the sideways action like we were talking about in the last few videos so keep an eye on that price action keep an eye on the news we'll do some follow-up videos tomorrow so everybody and all the coins we, we talked about tonight good luck and you always gotta remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on the market only and you always do what's right for you so you always have a good afternoon good evening good morning good night mr big braids is signing out